much loved, very popular, blends beautifully with others, and ages well. Four things Cabernet Sauvignon and I have in common. I'm just a human version of a fine wine. Hmm. Hey everyone, Tristan here from Que Sera Sera, sharing some wine info with the Boutique Wine Focus. The Boutique Wine that I'm drinking today is a Cabernet Sauvignon by Granite Hill Cellars. In this video, I'm talking about Cabernet Sauvignon, the most planted wine grape variety in the world, as it can be found in Europe, the Americas, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. It's everywhere. This is because the grape grows in both moderate and warm weather climates, but does better in warm weather climates because its thick skin needs a long, warm growing season to ripen successfully. The grape's thick skin has a high concentration of flavor, tannins, and color. It provides black fruit, herbal, herbal, and or herbaceous aromas and flavors. Cabernet Sauvignon grapes grown in warmer climates tend to have more cooked black fruit aromas and flavors due to the increased heat exposure during the growing season. Due to its versatility, wines are usually made with either 100% Cabernet Sauvignon grapes or it's blended with its favorite partner in crime, Merlot. When blended with Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon's high levels of tannin and acidity are softened, creating a wine that can be consumed earlier without the need for extended barrel or bottle aging. This is very useful in cooler regions around the world. The Cabernet Sauvignon grapes during a cool vintage would have a higher acidity than warmer regions. Blending with Merlot makes the wine more palatable. Although it's found all over the world, Cabernet Sauvignon's home is southwestern France. I'm talking about Bordeaux. Bordeaux is divided into two regions, the left bank and the right bank of the Gironde estuary. Wines from the left bank are primarily Cabernet Sauvignon dominant blends because the left bank has more stones and gravel in its soil. This drains the soil well while also absorbing heat during the day, allowing the vineyard to be warmer at night, creating an environment that allows the grapes to ripen more successfully than on the right bank. Cooler vintages will have a little bit more Merlot blended into the left bank wines than warmer vintages because the Cabernet Sauvignon grapes struggle to ripen successfully. One of the reasons why Cabernet Sauvignon grapes are grown all around the world is because they're more successful in ripening in warmer climates. Unlike Bordeaux, which needs gravelly stony soils to grow Cab Sav grapes reliably, other parts of the world take the opposite approach. Warm weather with cooling influences. Sonoma, California and Australia's Margaret River and Kunawara regions are warmer than Bordeaux, but are cooled with cloud cover and breezes. South Africa's Stellenbosch is mountainous, and altitude is used to moderate the climate. All of these are examples of the terroir's impact on the wine and Cabernet Sauvignon's versatility. But don't forget, Cabernet Sauvignon loves warm climates, and that's why it's very successful in California's Napa Valley and Chile's Central Valley. You'll find plenty of 100% Cabernet Sauvignon wines from these regions because the grapes ripen so successfully and with such high quality, they don't need to be blended with anyone else. As a wine, Cab Sav benefits from extended barrel aging, softening the tannins over time while adding vanilla, clove, and smoke aromas and flavors, making the wine more complex. Cab Sav's high levels of tannin and acidity act as natural preservatives for the wine and are the reasons why Cabernet Sauvignon wines can age well over decades. As the wine ages, it can develop complex aromas and flavors such as earth, dried fruit, and forest floor. All right, so that was a lot of info. If you just wanna walk in with a few key points about Cabernet Sauvignon, it's that it's versatile and can grow on many types of terroirs, blends beautifully with Merlot, and can age beautifully over time. I hope you enjoyed this video breaking down some basics on Cabernet Sauvignon and why it's the most planting grape variety in the world. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow along with my food and boutique wine adventures. Ask yourself, do you prefer wines where Cab is a part of a blend or wines where they're made from 100% Cabernet Sauvignon grapes? If you have a preference, I recommend you try wines from around the world. I'm sure you'll find an exception. There are plenty of unique and boutique wines out there. Go out and try something new. It's not an adventure if there's no discovery, especially with wine. Until next time, cheers.